Last year, when we were in Helisil, I shot some nice, classy black and white photos on medium format. So this year, I thought I'd do the polar opposite. Some funky colors on the smallest commercially available format. Now, I've got three lenses today, the 18, the 24, and the 50 millimeter. And I've never tried the Pentax Auto 110, so I'm quite excited to see if it even works. Let's go take some pictures. For this shot, I think I'm going to try the wider angle lens. It's uh, pretty rare that I take out more than one lens in a day. So it's a fun sort of new experience to be changing up lenses between shots. But for this one, I'm going to try the 50 millimeter. So we finished the turquoise, but I have another roll of just regular ISO 200 color film. So I'm going to load this up and maybe take another picture of those cows.
interesting to see just in the houses and then like boom. One ten film, man. It is tiny. It's about ten times smaller than six four five, which is what I shot in this port last year. But with these high quality Pentax lenses, it got some surprisingly sharp images. I was especially blown away by the background separation of the shot of the flower with the bee. I didn't know that kind of bokeh was possible on such a small format. But thanks to the Pentax Auto One Ten, it's kind of possible. Turquoise shots were obviously a bit of fun. It's always interesting to see how the world is rendered with some funky colors, but it is a grainy stock on 35 and it is extra grainy on 110. However, I'm assuming if you're shooting turquoise, you're not after clinical perfection in your photos. Tiger 200, however, which is Lomography's color negative they offer in 110, has some very impressive resolving power if you've got a nice lens to pair it with. And I did with this camera. It is a fully fledged automatic SLR, interchangeable f2.8 lenses made by Pentax, bright viewfinder, split prism focus aid. It is a full machine, but just shrunk down to really small, which makes it honestly a great choice for just general use photography. You can fit it into any bag, fit it in your pocket, take it anywhere, and you can get sharp images on 110. Hoping to maybe pick up a flash for it to finish the whole kit, Maybe take some portraits. Watch this space. Anyway, for now, I appreciate you watching until the end. Please leave a comment. Let me know some of your favorite photos or if you have the same camera yourself. And I will see you in a future video. A <laughs> Peace.